And we are now hearing from the mother of Enrique Tarrio, the former Proud Boys leader who was just sentenced to 22 years in prison for the Capitol siege. And local 10's Cody Weddle live now with her reaction today. Cody. And we had heard from Vinny Duarte during her son's sentencing hearing, essentially pleading to the judge for leniency during that sentencing. She did not get that. Her son received 22 years in prison for the charge of seditious conspiracy. So now she is turning to the public. Take a look at what this looked like. This press conference wrapped up just about an hour ago. We saw Duarte there flanked by her attorneys and still sticking up for her son. Uh, she really tried to downplay the role her son played in the January 6th riots and the January 6th attempted coup. Uh, she emphasized that her son was not even in D.C. on January 6th. He had left town a few days before, and she claims the group he led, the Proud Boys, uh, were not highly organized. Now, she says the U.S. government decided to use her son basically as a political pawn, in her words, and even though uh, he was the leader of this neo-fascist white supremacist group. She still called him a good person. Take a listen. We want to let everyone know that this um, excess of sentencing um, after so many months of trial um, is really hurting the family. We have rapists, murders, um, human trafficking that get very few years of sentencing comparison to the 22 years that my son has been sentenced for. He has always been a good person, involved in politics in the best way, always with law enforcement. And we also asked her if she had spoken to her son. She said she had. We also asked whether he still considered himself a member of the Proud Boys. She said no. We're going to have much more on what she had to say today coming up at 6. For now, we're live here in Miami Lakes. I'm Cody Weddle, Local 10 News. Local reaction to an international story. Thanks a lot there, Cody.